Hello and welcome to the Sheikh of Ara case. My name is Justin Spencer Young and in this video I am going to be going through the case generally looking at some of the key items to consider and this is just a general read through to get a sense of what's going on. Alright, so let's start from the top. You have developed a chain of 10 cyber cafes near universities, several different universities here. Your business concept is to serve Java to budding revolutionaries and caviar communists and limousine liberals, liberals that live in these vanguards of social change. Okay, a whole lot of ongoing stuff. Um, in spite of the fact that money is the root of all evil, you're highly profitable. Thank goodness for that. You've decided to expand your operations and you are opening several new cafes. So this is uh, presenting what this case is about. It's a business where we're going to be investing new capex, capital expenditure. Hopefully for cafes they're going to produce some more profits in the future. Let's keep going. You plan to add another three cafes each year for the next four years so that you will end up with 22 cafes. Of course, you have 10, you're adding 12. You lease the space for each cafe for 180,000 Rand per year and you spend 900,000 Rand to build each cafe to your specifications. Construction for 2018 is on schedule and you will have 13 cafes fully operational by the end of the year. All right, don't pay too much attention to the dates in terms of the whole scheme of things. The starting point for our case study is going to be 2018, uh, but that's not really important. It's really just a five year forecast. We'll see that comes up shortly. When the cafe opens, the 900,000 expenditure is depreciated at 10% per year straight line. For book purposes, in addition, each cafe has 25 days of inventories on hand and can get 45 days credit terms from its suppliers. You estimate that every cafe you open adds 300,000 Rand per year to the selling general and administration expenses. All right, so we need to process that in our forecasting and our valuation at some point. I'm not going to go into that now. It takes 12 months to build each cafe, during which time you incur lease expenses, so you are hiring the space, you incur the additional selling general and admin costs, but you only earn revenue, but you earn no revenue on the site because you only earn revenue from the next year. You expect that once the cafe opens, its doors, revenues will flow and we expect to earn a million rand per cafe per annum with a gross margin of 70%. Okay, you maintain this cash balance of 2% of sales for working capital purposes. Some businesses have accounts and they pay them on 30 days. We're going to assume that business accounts make up 20% of our cafe sales. The, in uh, the income tax rate is 28%. You have a line of credit at the bank up to 10 million and the interest rate is 12%. You pay a special dividend in 2017 but the bank will not allow you to pay dividends if your line of credit is drawn down. All right, we'll talk about that dividend a little bit later. Okay, so here's some historical data. You've got a balance sheet for 2016 and 2017. That's the previous two years. And you have an income statement for last year. All right, be sure that you've got these numbers in Excel because that uh, there is a Excel spreadsheet with these numbers available. So you don't have to type them all out. You can just copy and paste them into your Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's move on down and let's see what the objective is here. So we have some questions. Draw up a set of pro forma financial statements. Okay, so that's a very Elani way of saying let's do a forecast. And we're going to forecast income statements, balance sheets and cash flows for each of the years 2018 through to 2022. So that is effectively a five year forecast. All right, we're going to calculate what was the dividend that was paid at the end of last year. And when we are doing all this forecasting in the future, we are going to try and estimate the amount of financing that we will need to meet these expansion plans. 
right, we'll have to talk about how we calculate what that financing is. Here's some assumptions that are important. It takes 12 months to build each cafe. That was stated in the text. No revenues during this time, but we are paying rental and we are paying SG&A during this time. So we're going to start incurring costs straight away without the re revenue that come from these new cafes. Fortunately, the depreciation expense does not start until we start producing revenues. All right, so that will happen in 2019 then. For simplicity, assume that interest charged in the year T is based on the balance on the bank account loan in the year T minus one. Okay, so the reason for this is we effectively say, what is the year end debt? What is the balance? And then we calculate the interest and we put the interest in the income statement for the coming year. And that just avoids a circular reference in your uh, spreadsheets. It just makes it nice and simple. And you'll see what I mean as we as we build this out, uh, how that works and why we do that and about the circular reference and how those things work. All right. This exercise is designed to familiarize you with the mechanics of financial analysis, more specifically valuation. Okay, those words don't aren't there. I've inserted them myself. After you've built your pro forma, please do the following. Assume a growth rate of 3%. Growth rate? What the hell is that? We've got to find out. And a discount rate of 25%, whatever that is. So it says here, don't worry about where these numbers come from. Uh, calculate the MPV for the revolutionary endeavor. Okay, we will worry about where those numbers come from. We'll talk about what they mean and how to use them and why they are important. A venture capitalist offers you a million rand for a 20% stake in your company. Discuss the merits of this offer. All right, so really what we've got to do is we've got to value this business. We want to know what does 100% of the company value at so that we can work out the 20% portion. And we want to see should we be should we be selling this to the venture capitalist is a million rand a reasonable valuation who knows okay so the intention here back to the beginning for Sheikh Havara is we've got some historical data we've been given a whole lot of information in the case that tells us about the next five years and we want to forecast the income statements and balance sheets and cash flows that represent the future so that we can do a valuation that is really the overview of the Sheikh Havara case. In the next video, I will start setting up the spreadsheets in order to tackle this case. See you in the next video.